Hi folks, I'm Josh and welcome back to Slime Rancher. Today I'm going to take a quick look at the three, three new slimes that are going to be coming in the next 6.0 update. It's re looking really good. There's lots of updates uh, about the glass desert. There's lots of stuff to go through. So let's just hang out and uh, feed my hungry, hungry um, uh, hunter uh, Lagos and get some more money. Anyway, so... The glass desert itself is going to be a huge update, not only for just like a cool area to explore, I don't know what it's kind of deal is going to be, you know how like with the um, uh, the quantum area, I can't remember what it's called, the ruins, it was, uh, it was all about being like a slightly confusing maze, but the rest, what are you doing out here? The rest of the update will mostly be about graphical stuff so there's, there's gonna be a dynamic sky with awesome uh, clouds floating by and the lighting is gonna change when it goes from night to day but as for the look of the um, new area is it seems very much like the ruins um, it's using some of the same kind of buildings or those old kind of brick not brick but like stone slabs put together to make really epic looking um, high stuff. Tall towers is what I was trying to say. But there's there's all of that going on. So they've, they've started doing that. And then there's more. This picture right here has hinted at more of the slime switches that you need to get plorts out of your slimes and then use those to plug them in and unlock something. I don't know what it'll be, but it'll be very exciting to, to figure it out and have fun with that. That's what I'm looking forward to with this. But this area with all of the slime switches in looks kind of like an ending to somewhere. So like, ooh, you've got a glitching out a little bit. There, there's going to be something un cool unlocked in there for sure. The three, the first of the three new signs, one of them you definitely know about. I need to feed you lot really quickly, otherwise they're going to get angry. Uh, the first of the three new slimes is the mosaic slimes. Like, this gif right here shows just how amazing it's, it's going to look. Just up close and personal. <laughs> well, I don't know how personal it's going to be, but they are going to be looking good and, and shiny. I don't know what their special ability will be or anything like that. I'm ex excited to find out, as I say, and, and play more of the this amazing game with you and just hang out. I, I love this game, so that's going to be exciting. Just they actually, I say I don't know what their special ability might be, but there is a, uh, a gif somewhere. I'm going to put it on the screen. It's supposed to be a bunch of mosaic slimes, but then everything catches on fire! And I know that the um, desert is supposed to be like catching on fire. I think there was like meteors falling from the sky in the flavor text that Monomi Park put out with one of their updates. I don't know if that's what's going on there or whether it's the slimes themselves. But, you know, as always, exciting to go and find out for ourselves. Uh, who is still angry? You're still angry. And you still hangry? Yep, there we go. I think everyone's calmed down a little bit now, though. What do they do, aside from look cool? It's it's really amazing how the, the graphics for the slime, the mosaic slime, are. Look at that. It's just, no matter which way you turn it, it kind of reflects the light and it looks really great and then it's got a face on it <laughs> on to the second slime which you may have seen the tangle slime i'm gonna go for a walk in the wilderness while i talk about this not very uh tangle slimy but this is uh it's a weird vegetable it kind of looks like it's got a bulbasaur bulb on its back or not bulbasaur venusaur because it's got more leaves it looks great though and Seemingly, it has the ability to grab stuff from really far away, like Spider-Man. Uh, I don't think that's quite how Spider-Man's uh, webs work. They're kind of like vines that come out of the ground. Um, and I think they bring uh, food to themselves that they can then uh, eat. They seem to be uh, 
carnivores. They seem to be eating chickens, which is surprising for a plant. But maybe it's like a Venus flytrap style um, tangle slime plant. I cannot wait to see all of these new slimes combined with each other and all the different areas that they're going to live in. That's another thing I really like about Slime Archer, the kind of, oh, I hear, I hear the lucky slime, here we go, fire, 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 lots of money. How much money did I get from that? 100, that's not a lot of slime. Uh, let's help out our buddies. Pachow, you go in the water, get in the sea. That's right, oh no, there's still one here. You two, get in the sea. Yeah, savior of the slimes. Anyway, Gordos, you are scared of me. Oh, uh, have a hen. No, oh, sorry. <laughs> the Gordos for those, uh, the three new ones are gonna look amazing. The Tangle Slime, however, whoa, gotta avoid these angry ones. The Tangle Slime is uh, weird. There seems to be like a bramble area it lives in. If you look at this pic, this gif that I stole off Twitter. <laughs> you know what I need? I need more Puddle Slimes to kind of fill out the, um, the different areas. And I think the Puddle Slimes you're allowed to put more of them in if you put their uh, rubber ducky in with them. So hopefully, hopefully that works. Otherwise, we're just going to have lots of cute puddle slimes hanging around with it. I don't need a pink plot. I need food. Anyway, the third slime is the tangle slime. It's a kind of weird shade of green. I don't... I've got to be perfectly honest with you. I don't like the shade of green that it is. But I'm willing to forgive it for being kind of like one of my favorite Pokemon, uh, Bulbasaur with uh, the little uh, <laughs> um, plant nubbin on its head. Anyway, the third and most interesting to my mind, the most interesting slime that I'm very much looking forward to seeing is the dervish slime, which uh, kind of sounds like the whirling dervish, which is a move from D&D, &D, like the original D&D, &D, I think. Do you want a carrot? There we go. Not so angry anymore. Brilliant. Anyway, uh, as the name implies, with the whirling dervish, they whirl about. They create or and or live in tornadoes, like sandstorms. If you look at this gif, it is going to be incredibly difficult to just take a, a short walk around their area and see what's up because they're gonna be spinning, things are gonna be flying around. Think of all the physics that happen when you use your backpack to suck stuff in, that's gonna be happening, but pulling things in other directions and then just flinging them out. Oh no, oh no, another another lucky slime. Uh, do I have a chicken? Um, where are the chickens? Is that a chicken? There's the chickens. Did I miss? Yay! Bye-bye! Two lucky slimes. This is a lucky video. Oh my goodness, uh, where's the chicken? Because the lucky slimes come back. The lucky slimes, uh, I don't, I don't know where to find more chickens. Gimme, 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 gimme. Are you still there? Probably disappeared, haven't you? Damn. Oh, that was really cool. I didn't know they didn't just instantly disappear, though. That's new information. Stored in my brain space for another time. Hang on, what's this? Boing. I have a... I have a spring here for no apparent reason. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Not gonna complain about that. This dervish slime looks... Kind of like a planet. It looks like, um, Ur does Uranus have rings? You know, the ringed planet. Okay, let's see how many puzzle slimes we can fit in here. That's one. That's four, which is one more than normal, I think. Stop, stop jigging out. Stop being janky. Uh, is that too many? Is that too many? It's not too many. Yay, ducky! You saved, you sa oh no, they're, they're embarrassed now. They are embarrassed. Wait, are they trying to jump out? No, stay in here with me. Okay. Um, whoops, I put a chicken in here accidentally. The dervish slime is just gonna wreck everything. And I mean, having them on your ranch is going to be super difficult. I, It's not gonna be possible to keep them in one place. All of the plots are gonna go everywhere. I don't know how they're gonna be ranchable, because like, if all of these were dervish slimes, just the, the toy, the plorts, would just be flung out the top. And I don't know if the net um, gets weaker when non-slime stuff hits it. I don't know. I, I guess we'll find out. Oh, I didn't realize it put a little slime face there. That's cute. 
I like these um, ranch upgrades. Even if it's just for looks, it really makes it feel like I've progressed. And that's, that's quite the tier of progression there. I'm super proud of all the work I put into getting the money for the 7Z rewards from that. Anyway, if you have anything you would like to see from me in the Battle Build mod or when the 6.0 update comes out, let me know in the comments. But until then, mustache.